inequalities. That's what we're going to learn today. Hey guys, my name is Jason Jacobs. Let's get started. Don't want to waste your time. Do your homework. We're here with me on Envision 4-7, 4, 4 Practice and Problem Solving on Envision 2.0. Here we go. Now, I want you guys to uh, write this down. Less than, greater than, uses an open circle. Now, this right here, that is an open circle. Uh, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, that uses a closed circle. That is a closed circle. Write that key down. Now, listen, guys. We have an open circle right here open circle and it's shading to the left to the less than so an open circle means we're going to use less than less than 10 so y is less than 10 guys y is less than 10 so y is less than 10 so any value less than 10, not including 10. Does it include 10? No. If it included 10, it would be less than or equal to, but it doesn't include 10. So it's y is less than 10. And we'll check to see if that's right. Whoa. Glitch much? All right, this is a closed circle. Do you guys remember what a closed circle was? That would be less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And it's shading to the left. So what this means is Y is less than or equal to 12. That means it can include 12. It does include 12. Now I want you to notice something very important. You see how that looks like a little arrow? Which way is that arrow pointing? That arrow is pointing this way. Same direction as this is going. So as long as this uh, Y is on the left side and not over here, that trick works. It's shading this way, so that's the way it shades. All right, open circle. Open circle on 12, and it's shading to the less than. So this will point. See how that air, that's an arrow, and it points to the direction that it shades? So that's Y is less than 12. Does it include 12? No, it does not. No, it does not does not include 12. Name three solutions of the following inequality. Y is greater than or equal to 125. Well, is this greater, is 127 greater than or equal to 125? Is zero? No. Okay, this is the tricky one. 125 is greater than or equal to 125. Yeah, that's true. 123? 126 is greater than or equal to so there we go. Graph the inequalities. X is greater than 4 and X is greater than or equal to 4. Are the graphs the same? So let's graph them now. So ready? Here is X is greater than 4. This is what that graph looks like. You ready? You draw a line like this. And usually I just put three interval pieces with the four goes in the middle of it and this will be an open circle and it's x is greater than four so it's shading this way and do you kind of see how this air it looks like an arrow it the arrow points to the direction that it shades which is kind of a neat trick a little hack for you all right so that uses an open circle now x is greater than or equal to four guys that will look like this, okay? So I'll put my intervals in. And instead of a, uh, since it's greater than or equal to, that's going to be a closed circle, okay? And it's going to be shaded this way. See how that's like a little arrow pointing to the direction to go? So there it goes, shading that way. Now, to the right. Are the graphs the same? No. No, they are not. No, they appear to be the same, but... One has an op one includes four and one does not include four. Fort Lauderdale is a popular tourist location in Florida. Have you guys ever been to Florida? The highest temperature ever recorded there was 117 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest temperature recorded there 
was 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Write two inequalities that would describe the temperature in Fahrenheit. In Fort Lauderdale, at any time since temperatures have been recorded, write the high temperature inequality. So look, guys, the highest temperature ever recorded was 117. That means it was 117. It includes 117, but not more. But it could include temperatures that were less. So the, the temperature is less, the temperatures at Fort Lauderdale are less than or equal to 117. Man, if it were 117, we'd all be baking there in Fort Lauderdale. Hey, maybe I'll see you in Florida. I go every year too. Write the low temperature inequality. So the low temperature was 29. It's never gotten below 29. It has gotten to be 29. So the, the temperatures in Fort Lauderdale are greater than or equal to, and it does include 29, does it? Yeah, so it does include. So that's pretty cool. It's a good real life application there of, of inequalities. The number line represents the solutions of the inequality. X is greater than three. Is 3.2 a solution? Is three and two hundredths a solution? Explain how you can tell. So yeah, so this is an open circle, so it does not include three, but it would include anything greater than three. And I'm not just talking about four here. I am talking 3.2 or 3.1 or three and two hundredths. So 3.2 is greater than three and is a solution on the graph line. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Patience there, buddy. And three and two hundredths is greater than three and is a solution on the graph line. Doug received a gift card to buy new clothes. He says the card's value is enough to buy any of the clothing shown, shown to the right. Let V be the dollar value of the gift card. Write an inequality that best describes the value of the gift card. So, oh man. So the gift card could buy anything here. He says the gift card value is enough to buy any of the clothing shown to the right. Are we talking just one clothing or more than one? All right. So maybe it's just talking one. I think the question's not necessarily worded. Right in quote, the best describes the value of the gift card. So I'm going to try this one first. So the value of the gift card is... Less than or equal to 22. Your, your second answer is correct. Your first answer is incorrect. Find the maximum value. Wasn't 22 the grade? Okay. So I think that they're saying you could buy, you could buy all those three things. You could buy all three of them. So we're going to add all three of them up and see. I mean, if they're saying we could buy all of them, let's buy all of them. I mean... Actually, only if you want to. We don't want to spend frivolously. We could save the gift card for next time, right? So 21, 2500. Do you guys like getting gift cards for Christmas? If you celebrate Christmas? I do. Then you could get what you want. You know what I mean? So I added all these up and we get $60.50. Find the maximum value. Decide if it is included. Okay, so both of your answers are incorrect. Okay, really? Wow. So I guess 22 was correct. He says the card's value is enough to buy any of the clothing shown to the right. So the card's value, I guess, could be greater than or equal to 22? Yes. Oh, duh. Greater than or equal to 22. I mixed up the symbol. So the if you so it could be it could be 22 or even greater. All right. So uh, hopefully you learned from my mistakes. Did you notice how I read what it said here? That always gives some, some good tips. But this just proves that um, teachers can make mistakes too.
which, you know, when, when you're in school, you always think like your teachers are, are perfect. And I always like, um, I always liked it when a teacher was secure enough to say, Hey, I made a mistake too, just like you guys do. So I'm with you guys. Let's work through this together. Uh, Faye started a graph to show the inequality. Y is less than 3.3. Finish labeling the number line and draw the graph. So Y is less than 3.3. So you see, we're going to use an open circle, not a closed circle. And it's going to go less than. Do you see how that one is? This was greater than or equal to 3.3. This one is greater than 3.3, and this one is less than or equal to 3.3. And finally, X is less than or equal to 67. Well, this is greater than or equal to 67. Remember, an open, an open circle, this is just greater than 67. An open circle would just be less than, but a closed circle would be less than or equal to. This says X is less than or equal to 67. So that's an open circle. Notice how they're trying to trick you here with the open circle going that way. Hmm, not tricking us. Not today. Maybe on the last question he did, but not to, not with this one. Uh, X is less than or equal to 67. Yep, closed circle right there. All right, guys. Hey, we did it. Hey, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for doing your homework with me. And uh, let's see. Always redo questions if you don't. Don't settle for anything less than a 100%. You can do it. You can do it. Math is awesome. I'll see you later. Bye.